Good evening, everybody. Today is Sunday, January 2nd, 2022. Week 161. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> God, it's been a long time. It's like been a year a since year. we made a video. Gosh, last year was and our last video. You know we were going to have the cheesy jokes. Of course, because I like the cheesy jokes. Yeah, we're cheesy. <laughs> We had cheese tonight, in fact. We did. We did. And we had tacos. some homemade tacos. Yeah, good Creamy. stuff. Yes. Okay, well, let's get into some numbers. <clears throat> Last week, I was 336, and today, this morning, I was 337.4. So I'm I'm up like a pound, pound and a half. I can top him. You could top me? <laughs> okay. It's a family <laughs> channel here. <laughs> <laughs> Last week I weighed in at 153, and this morning I weighed in at 157. Hmm, 157? Yes. You yes. retain a bunch of I foods am and... My... You, your um, female junk's over my for the moment, My female junk moment, is right? uh, just finishing it, and it was rough. Give it a day or two and jump on the scale. I know. Like, I was... Unless you've physically gone out and ate like a whole chicken or something. I wanted to cry. <laughs> No, nah, don't cry. I, he was in the, I was getting in the shower, and he's like, did you weigh? I'm like, not yet. And then I was like, oh. but yeah, I, you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. And hey, you got a whole year to work on it. I do. <laughs> <laughs> new year, new <clears throat> me. Yeah, you know still, I like me. Still trying to get over being sick. Uh, Stacy and Julia are doing well and uh, have both been able to um, get negative results from uh Previous tests that were recent. Yeah. Um, mine still came back positive, and I uh, went through 10 days of antibiotics for pneumonia. I've uh, been dealing with that, and I've still got a little bit of junk going on with that. Yeah. I can do things that are about 15 to 20 minutes at a time, mm -hmm. and then I have to take a break and sit down. I'm exhausted. I like, I guess I'm just trying to get over it, but I have been like getting things done. But you're like, my amazing Spider Man. Yeah, I'm an amazing Spider Man. No, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I've been doing everything I can. Like today, I worked yesterday. I worked on fish tanks. Today, I worked in the garage a little bit and in the house and stuff. And I just forced myself to get up and keep moving. Yeah, keep doing lots of deep breaths. And of course, I'm taking a slew of vitamins and minerals and other things like that to try and help me just get feeling better. So I'm trying. It was and, a weird uh, week for us last week on Christmas Day. We had Julia with us for about. An hour and a half, and then she's like, "When are we going to Lauren's?" So I actually dropped Julia off at Lauren's um, at mm -hmm. her apartment. Yeah, so they got to hang out for a few days. Yep. So I, and we just picked her up uh, Friday night. Um, they had a blast. They enjoyed their time together. Um, we so hung they, out and yeah. watched some Netflix. So Cobra Kai has come yep. back out, and um, we've been Yellowstone. doing Yellowstone. So we've been watching some of that. I think yep. we're into just getting into season three of Yellowstone. Yes. And then every time they put one of the 1883s out, we watch it. I think we've watched three so far yeah. that they have. Yeah. So, you know, just trying to keep some things going in those respects of just, you know, hanging out and doing a little bit of nothing at night because it's been pretty wiped out. Today was, one of, today was one of the first days, well, like two days ago and then again today, that I actually was able to get down there, get on the bike, ride the bike for a good half hour. Rode it for 40 minutes the day before yesterday. Yeah. Um, just trying to slowly get back into routines of just things I need to do and physically I just have not felt up to anything. I slept 11 hours yesterday. The night before, I slept 12 hours. I mean, I'm just wiped out. I was telling Stacy today, middle mm -hmm. of the day, I'm like, I need a nap or something. I am really just freaking wiped out. He was in bed at 10, 15 last night. Yeah. And I went to sleep and I slept straight through. It's a good so, thing. Yeah. No, it's a good thing. I'm, I'm not fighting it. I'm <laughs> yeah. laying down when I need to lay down. I was telling Bill this year, I think, <clears throat> um, I want to try some yoga. Yoga. I hear it's really good for your core I want to strength. Do goat and... yoga. I want a baby goat and I want him he to jump his... on my back. And that's the kind of yoga I want to do. He wouldn't do any yoga though. He'd be like, Come here, goat. Come here. Come here, baby. Let's play. <laughs> I'll train him. By the time we get out of there, I'll sit and speak. All kinds of stuff. Bah! <laughs> we saw, what were we watching? 90 Day Fiance or something. One of those weird shows. And, the big Ed or whatever his name is, he had he had taken his date to a, a yoga, uh, goat yoga class. <laughs> it just cracked me up. 
Uh, I'd do it if we lived somewhere weird like that, like San Francisco or one of those places that has weird things like that. I don't think we have goat yoga here, but uh, I'd just go maybe. for the goats. <laughs> like I'm, I'm done with the yoga. I just want to watch you guys with the goats. <laughs> Take pictures. Oh, goodness. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe I'll try, because with the weight loss that we've had... Um, haven't, haven't, well, I mean... I haven't a had pounds. a huge reg, uh, regimen as far as um, exercising and things, just what I was doing at work with all the walking, which I usually get a ton of walking. Not so much now as I'm a cashier up front. Um, but, you know, still still a nice amount of walking. And so I'm thinking I can pair the weight loss with some yoga and definitely tone up and firm up and yeah, get um, more balance because Lord knows my balance needs help. I'd say one of the things I'm trying to do is, is get away from – the the keto fied foods like yeah. like the carb shells or whatever uh, even tonight with tacos and stuff I had some meat and cheese to decide without a shell and because lettuce. I didn't well yeah and lettuce too but uh, I didn't want to have the shells I mean right. I could sit there and easily eat three tacos and you know yeah. I don't know when I put that stuff in the carb manager I just feel icky because I see you know total carbs versus net carbs and I've never really been a big believer in the net carb thing yeah so I just I just kind of feel like it's not the right path yeah and and we I'll be honest we leaned on those things like that and mm -hmm. there was that uh, Aunt Millie's one carb bread I used to eat that yeah. with toast and stuff and think well I'm doing okay but I wasn't getting anywhere and uh, the stuff is expensive a little loaf of bread five bucks yeah and uh I don't know. I just stopped, stopped using it. I just kept telling Stacey, I'm, I'm just feeling like I'm not getting anywhere. So uh, some of those changes. Resetting. And and ironically, a lot of those changes were starting to happen right when we got sick. And it's yeah. been about a month now. And uh, I'm not really seeing much difference on the scales or nothing, but at least I'm getting some energy back now. Like mm -hmm. last couple of days here, I've been able to ride a bike a few times. I'm and so sorry. Good. Keep trying to get back. Keep to, yawning. Oh, Sorry. It's okay. It's, it is evening. <laughs> we're, we're, we were late yesterday. We couldn't get anything in, in for Saturday. And then yeah. uh, today being Sunday, we were going to try and do it before work. And just, it snowed. And it snowed. So we it had to snowed clear a lot. the snow. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah. So now Stacey just got home. We just ate dinner. And we uh, wanted to make a quick video and stick, stick it up and tell everybody we're doing okay. Yeah, absolutely. We're doing good. We're excited about the new year. Mm -hmm. Um I do want to try and get into some, maybe searching online for some new recipes or some, I'm, I'm feeling like in a rut. Yeah. I feel like I'm eating like a hamburger or eggs or chicken and that's like all I feel like I'm eating. But we had tacos tonight. Yeah. But... And I'm such a basic eater. So for me, it doesn't, it's like. Mm. Stacy really likes pork chops and I do not like pork chops. He doesn't. So um, got a rotisserie chicken. So yeah. tore that all up into little pieces, and I'll maybe do some gravy and rotisserie chicken as a nice lunch tomorrow or something. There you go. Make some veggies. What are you gonna with make it. me? Whatever you'd like. No. You could have the white meat. I don't like the white part. I only like the dark meat. <laughs> I don't like the chicken. It's just dry to me and plain. It has to have some flavor to it. Put a little salt and pepper in it. Yeah. Well, we're we're hoping for 2022 to be a better year. It's not. I don't know. I don't see a lot of sunlight, but I'm hoping for it and wishing for it and praying for a lot better year. Yeah. I had a really weird year. I had a really weird year. I fell out in Colorado in May. Yeah. And for the next two months, I could barely move, considered surgery even. I had a miserable couple months there. I re-hurt my shoulder. Yeah, and then you had to go and get had surgery. Shoulder and had shoulder surgery, and then we both got sick. and Yeah. <sighs> Some days, I'm, I'm going to be 54 this week. In two days. Um, a couple days. January 4th. Um, yeah, and I feel like I'm about 94. <laughs> but, uh, you know, just It'll get there. It'll, it'll just get moving. better. We actually spent a few minutes in the hot tub today, too, and that was nice. It felt really good. I did a no-no this morning. At, well, this later this afternoon at work, I went to reach with my shoulder, and I went across body. Don't do that. No weight or anything. Just no moved weight. your arm no, the I wrong just, way. Yep. I went literally across the body. and. Yeah, that's no good. Yeah. Actually, I went to itch my shoulder over here, and it just, oh. you know, you itch and you just do it, and <laughs> holy cow, it well, brought tears to my eyes. I was like, don't do that. Oh, <laughs> uh, we all have to get into, um, you talked about tracking again. 
I, I'll be honest, I was kind of late, uh, lazy on my card manager. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess I need to commit to doing more of that too. Yeah. I tried to do my little keto meter. I have this little blow in the mouth meter. And apparently after a certain amount of time passes, because it's got a little chip in it or battery or something. It can, yeah. And now it's telling me that I need to uh, take it in for service. I think every two years or something it expires and then you have to pay like 30 bucks and get it like re something in there, yeah. a sensor or something. I haven't sat down and read through it, but I, I was relying on that. It was kind of cool because you could just blow it and see where your keto numbers were. Yeah. And uh, I've been trying to do real good and. Um, other than just sleeping constantly, I've been trying to get more active. You got to listen to your body, though. Yeah, you're not I am well. sleeping. I'm sleeping. Well, I, look at me at ten o'clock last night. I was I, like, I'm going to bed. It was a shock. And you just looked at me like, what? Like, yeah, I couldn't stay up anymore. Because usually I'm going to bed one, two o'clock in the morning. Going, you got to go to bed soon. Come on. He's like, I'll be there it's in true. a little bit. And like two hours later, he comes just to been, bed. I've been wiped out. So. Yeah. Just got to listen to your body. But no, I'm trying. Uh, so I was curious to see where my ketones were. And I know when you're sick too, that can affect things and everything. It's definitely affected my sugars. Yeah. I don't even want to see my sugars. I could fast for three days and still have a 300 sugar yeah. when I'm sick. Yeah. And I'm still unfortunately seeing some yucky numbers, even though I just ate eggs the other day and, you know, half a yogurt and it was a keto yogurt even, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I just, I wasn't feeling good. I still haven't been feeling good. So... I wanted to check the ketones, and uh, the thing doesn't work. Yeah. So I got to look into that, try and get that fixed. For sure. I don't know if I have to mail it in or if they mail me something that I switch out inside. I don't know. I will figure it out. That I don't know either. I'll figure it out. Sounds like a plan. I realize we never even turned a little light on or anything, so it's just a little darker than usual. But that's okay. That's his job. It's nighttime. It's nighttime. So instead of being a daytime report, we can say it's a nighttime report, and it's a little darker. (laughs) I don't know. We'll go with that. That's my excuse. So if any of you do yoga or and you have a, a yoga app, or I have an iPhone, but I don't know that that would necessarily matter. Um, never done yoga before in my life. Um, don't think I could do yoga. I actually have a disc set of what they call DDP yoga, and we were going to try that out before. Yeah. But in the basement, we didn't have the headroom. Because a lot I of things are arms overhead, <laughs> and uh, there's no way I'm six six and standing in the basement, which has a low ceiling as it is. There's no way to do it. Could have come upstairs and found a place. That's gonna be our room. new goal. Sure, maybe it won't be DDP yoga, but maybe Just some, some other kind of yoga, yeah, type of thing. Well, look on YouTube. There's probably some cool yeah. beginners. It has to be beginners. Yeah, it would have to be beginners. A lot of the ladies that work um, do yoga. I have two of them that teach yoga. Oh. Um, but in classes, and one of them does hot yoga. I was like, oh, no. Mm, I'm already I like hot warm, enough. but I'm hot flashes. Yeah, and I'm too fat. <sighs> I just get too hot. You'd have to be like pouring water on me in, in, a, fat, in a hot yoga. <laughs> you passed out. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm actually a little scared of the word yoga because it just involves stretching into places in ways that I know I can't. So. Well, you might not when we start off, but then you might surprise yourself. I really doubt it, but I would. I'm. I'm. I swear, I'm open. It doesn't even have to have a goat or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even have to have a goat. Uh, I'll still do it. I'll be your goat. I'll try. I'll be your huckleberry. <laughs> right. I used to be Julia's monkey. So what's the difference? <laughs> I'll be your monkey. <laughs> Come on, monkey. I used me. to be Lauren's horse. Yeah. Remember, <laughs> Lauren. Would, that's probably what's wrong with my back now. As, a, as she was a little kid, she used to like make me get down on my hands and knees and ride me like a horse. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Put her yeah. little cowgirl hat on, remember? <laughs> then we bought... Giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> we bought her Cherokee, which is a, like a really nice size horse for kids. Yeah, I remember um, that. They had, he'd pinch the ears and it would gallop and she'd be with her purple cowgirl hat and she had a real... Um, Horse rope, the lead. Yep. And uh, we had some cowboy boots. She so, tried, yeah. Do you remember when she tried to like wash and cut the oh. hair for the horse? She cut her she, own hair. We were sitting, I met yeah, Bill put uh, something in there. at dinner and I was looking at Lauren. I said, did you, she cut her hair? He says, no. I said, yes, she did. And I look over, he goes, no. I said, yes, she did. When we get home, I go in her room and uh, there's Barbie hair everywhere there's horse hair everywhere. But wait a minute. 
the horse hair was even worse because she was trying to use gel. Well, I didn't know what it was. Toothpaste. It was bad. Oh was my everywhere. goodness! Oh, it was everywhere. Yeah, it was bad. But yeah, so Bill was Lauren's horse. I was Julia's mon monkey mm -hmm. from um, Dora. So come Dora. on, monkey! Come on, monkey! I was like, "What did you call me?" She's like, "You're my monkey. Come on." And like, your okay. snuggle bunny. You're my snuggle. And bunny. I'm your snuggle bunny. Yep. She's my snuggle bunny. Then, as the monkey, I got replaced with my nephew because she had more fun with my nephew, mm -hmm. and I was no longer her monkey. Okay. <laughs> anyway well yeah so we are trying to get back into our routines feeling better everybody's knock on wood hopefully better soon um i go for another test on my birthday actually don't I? you do is that what i'm scheduled yeah so i'm hoping that comes back negative and hopefully i can just get through the rest of this whatever's lingering in me yeah i still can't hear i haven't heard out of my ears in a month my ears are plugged up as much as i try and blow my nose and hold it and whatever i do my ears are plugged. It's funny because today I feel like I'm screaming because we went in the hot tub, so I took my hearing aids off. Am I talking really loud? No, no. Oh. I wouldn't say that. Okay. I don't know. Not a biggie. No. But uh, yeah, we are trying to do uh, better and be more conscious of the things that may be stalling us because yes. I feel stalled forever now. Yeah. So I'm hoping to see some progress here. And, uh, there will and I be know, progress. And I know you're not happy at, what was it, 157 you said? Because you were down in the 130s at one point. I right? was 135 for almost two years. Yeah. Now, I've stayed the same. I'm in the 330s, and no matter what I do, I go up three or down two and up four and down six. And yeah. I've stayed in the 330s within a few pounds forever. Yeah. Feels like. I've stopped taking all my medicines. So, Not medicine, medicine, but the pain medications and the ibuprofens. My shoulder is a sore... But getting better, sore, not I'm hurt, sore. Okay. So I'm healing. Yeah. You got to do Mr. Miyagi hands. Yeah, there you go. Kind of Cobra Kai. Come yeah. on, Mr. Uh, Miyagi. I'll take I never away. get him that quickly. Sure. You did good. Yeah, I'm a dork. Kind of sad Betty White died. Yeah. 99. We watched the very first episode of Hot in Cleveland with her and Valerie Bertinelli. Mm -hmm. Valerie Bertinelli. Hard to get that word out. Um, we watch her on the Food Challenge yeah. things on TV. And, and I was looking at her. I'm like, man, she looks different. Well, I, was, I guess the show was like 10 years old. I'd never yeah. even seen it or heard of it. 2010. So we 22 watched, years. Yeah. So we watched the pilot, the first episode, which was like 10 years old. But mm -hmm. it was, it was kind of cute. It was just fun to see, you know, Betty White on there and stuff. Yeah. And ironically, they were talking about age. You know, 50s, the new 40. 40s, yeah. the new... 50 is the new 40, and she says 80 is the new 60, and she's like, no, it's not. 80 is 80. 80 is 80, <laughs> yep. So. All righty, guys. Well, we are going to let you all go, and I hope you have a great week this week, and mm -hmm. I hope that we can start getting inspired by maybe even some new recipes or something. Look on Diet Doctor or yeah. just in general and click through and see what, see what kind of things we find that would uh, – Help inspire us to try some new things. Yeah. Yeah, I'm open. So if you guys got any ideas too, throw them in the comments. What are the things that Remember, you Remember, like? I have texture issues. Yeah. Bill does as long not. as it's not a damn pork chop, I'll eat it. I hate pork chops. Everything you've done to a pork chop and said, here, try this. It still tastes like a pork chop and I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way it is. Oh, all right. Well. well, hey, everybody, again, take care, and I hope you all have a great week, and we will see you next weekend. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye.